when you're on a set, like you got to treat everyone equal. You being a DP or a director, having a great attitude trickles down so much. The goal of the film is to get to a festival and get awards. Um, it's a different story than having more eyeballs out. You have to think of yourself as a stage mom or a stage dad. Like that's what you're doing. That's your baby. You're going to get them out to be the best actor in the world. So you have to like take them to every practice, makeup, whatever. Like if that's not what you are inclined to do, make sure you have a good producer who does it. Because if it's a short, most likely you won't have a publicist. You won't have a lawyer. You won't have something in the beginning. So you are one man show. Um, so make sure you have a good partner, producing partner who loves doing that, compliment it. And make sure that you know, okay, now it's time for me to be a stage mom, stage dad. What can we do? And talk to anybody who has this experience and um, try to find the best um, avenues for your stories. I was seven months pregnant when we shot this film. So the goal for me was just not to give birth early in a prison without any AC. And <laughs> we edited it in like six days. I was so pregnant when we edited it that I didn't, I couldn't, I was like rolling around <laughs> on the ground and like, and I literally gave birth right after like we filmed birth and then the baby and then, like nursing when we were doing the sound and it ended up you know working out and, and I mean it's crazy that we're here I, I had never in my wildest imagination imagined that it could get an Oscar music. it's crazy I talk about director and writer script a lot and they worry about but I think this is not going to be possible I would always say just write it just write the way you visualize it and vision it and talk it with the person after you write it and go through the emotion and say why did you write the script? Like, why is it important that you have this element in it? If it's a location, if it's, I don't know, like a $200,000 dress, I don't know what, what it may be. Like the reason why you have it and figure out what other thing can we do if we can't do it to make that same emotion and through line communicated visually and whatever it may be, like sound wise, whatever we can do. Is this scene even necessary? Is this just your dream? Like all of these things that you can ask, it can come later. But first I would say, just write it. And imposter syndrome is everywhere. Like I realized that everybody has a different journey about it um, regarding imposter syndrome. The main thing for me that helped was having really good support network that you know that you can trust and go and talk to and make sure you have a perspective because imposter syndrome means it's your own voice saying that you're not doing well enough. And that's not normally fact. It's your opinion. You got to really trust your instincts. Try and really build that instinctual side of you that knows what you like. Because everyone's going to tell you what looks better or what seems more right. What's the better story to tell? But you're the only one that really knows what's the right story for you to tell and what looks right for you. That's the, what's the way you respond to the most. And that's going to be the best version. I sometimes have to like re-center completely. I'm like, what was it I wanted to actually say? Like, where's the story going? What is, what am I doing here? What am I trying to achieve with this? And then you go back to the, the core of the sort of initial inspiration or the, what took you there in the first place. Make your voice be the main thing in a film at the same time, making sure that it's something sellable. Like those two contrasting things are such a hard thing to mesh and make it into one thing. Make sure that you know your voice, know who you are and protect it as much as you can because that's the source of all your stories. At the same time, you don't have to convert and mold yourself into what people want, but at least know what's going on. Like, like read headlines of deadline, what's being sold, what's being renewed. Just know it. You don't have to change. 
your stories, but at least you know where you stand in it and when you what you can offer and own it. 